Much of what you see in these moving images is not clouds, but the incredible smoke from California's wildfires as taken by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And this is what is taking those pictures, one of two new generation satellites, this one known as Goes West, that sits in one place and is primarily dedicated to watching over the western United States. This is the state of the art. In 2018, I suited up and watched as the third satellite, the backup for the first two, known as Goes East as well as Goes West, being assembled west of Denver, Colorado. Inside, we met up with a manufacturer's representative, Lockheed Martin's Tim Gasparini. Each one of those detectors is, is tuned to do something different. Even after launch, it takes a year or more to check the satellites out to make them fully operational. Back then, Josh Clark, a fire weather meteorologist with the Department of Natural Resources here in Washington, was starting to use them. How has it been in the last couple of years? Right, once um, those satellites were brought online, uh, it's been such a game changer for us, right? Seeing the uh, fires and smoke plumes at increasing resolution. Our largest fire in Washington right now is burning in the Okanagan Valley. This is the smoke plume last night. What has this allowed you to do now that you couldn't do with the previous generation of satellites? Well, we can see fires in essence in real time. We can see them propagate. These are some of those hot spots in California, some hotter than others. That tells a meteorologist like Clark a lot, especially as the fires are just getting started. It is being able to just detect the fire, right? A lot of these fires are occurring, especially after a lightning calls or a lightning bust. They're occurring in very remote locations where we may not have uh, people out there who can call it into 911.